Alright guys, I got a 01 Expedition that is has uh, got a lot of problems. Main problem being flashing check engine light, which is always a class A misfire. It's the only reason it flashes um, as far as strategy goes. Uh, so you know you got a cylinder that's misfiring, bad enough to have a type A misfire, which can uh, potentially damage the cat, which in that uh, instance you should not be driving it until it's fixed. So we're going to check it out. This one has uh, codes PO302 and 305. Let's get them up on here. In the PCM. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? 305. And of course he has cat problems. And then we got pending of a 302. So I want to show you this power balance tool we got from Ford. I don't know if any other manufacturer has this. I have not heard of it where it's in a graph uh, presentation like this. And we can watch the cylinders and their acceleration compared to each other. And then it puts in the graph based on that. So we can see this one has negative 30% uh, acceleration compared to the other cylinders. When they're like this, right around zero, they're all hunky door, a little bit of waviness to them. Um, we're basically watching the power contribution. So, number eight, always, 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 always on a gas engine is high. I don't know why. It'll always be high. And one and five, they seem to like to have a little dip to them, too. You can see number one's going to start that. But what you're looking at on this and it's clear as day is a deep V like this a deep V is a, a, a dead miss or if you're driving on the road and you start feeling that shaking or that um, that like jerking sensation and it happens for like a fraction of a second we can see it on here we will plot it on here and you'll see a deep V number five no questions asked all the other cylinders fine so I'm going to show you today how to diagnose this once you get your uh, codes from AutoZone or whatever and uh, you see that you have a cylinder 3 or 5 misfire, we can go after it and I'm going to show you how to do it and so you can save a little bit of money and uh, do it yourself. So what you can do if you don't have access to a scan tool as well as running with a dead miss is disconnect each cylinder one by one You'll see it runs worse, that's not the cylinder. Then you'll be checking them all, they'll all drop RPM and start running worse like that, right? Then you come over to the one we know already is misfiring. Which is number which is number five. I'm gonna pull that one. I pulled it. Nothing. Put it back in. Nothing. Right there, you know it's number five. Again, for example, shaking really bad. Plug it back in. Smooths out. And that's how you know which one is contributing or not, which is uh, the dead miss. Now what you can do on coil on plug systems, let's say number six here was misfiring, and all the rest of them were fine, it's a dead miss. You could actually turn the car off and swap coils, and then uh, you don't have to even bolt them in. Put the connectors back on, and then you can start the vehicle, vehicle again and do that RPM drop test again. Now, when 6 was misfiring before, it should be misfiring over here and vice versa. And that way you know it's the coil. At that point, you should change the coil and the um, spark plug. That's an easy way to diagnose it without a scan tool or anything like that. As long as it's dead miss.